And hello everyone, the third day of the Olympic champions has come to an end. A gymnast competed today for two important medals, and in this video I'll tell you how it went, how the day ended, and also a little curious news uh, about what I had previously told you. The first thing is I would like to start the video with a return to the Olympic champions in the group exercises, a Bulgarian national team. The reason is a post written by an injured gymnast. For those who missed this information, the Bulgarian team withdrew from the championship a few days before the competition because of the injury of one of the athletes. The Bulgarian national team didn't bring any replacements with them and in general they always perform on a group of five and not only they did so, so there's nothing strange about this. Laura Trotz has aggravated a herniated cervical disc injury. She wrote a big post on her Facebook page with a story about all of this and her thoughts touched me very much. Athletes are often blinded by the ambition they want to show themselves and prove to the whole world that they are cool and at this moment they often put their health on a back burner. The Russian national team has a huge number of similar athletes and stories but other countries don't ignore such problems. So Laura suffered from the problems with the vertebrae of the neck for several years. There were periods of exacerbation and normalization. At that moment for some reason I remembered Lisa Natasheva who performed the fracture for a year and then she had an exacerbation and terrible pain. Pain. Then she could perform normally. In this case, doctors and coaches were aware of the problems and for five years they managed to fight the pain and not worsen the situation. And this allowed the team to become Olympic champions in Tokyo. Arriving back in Japan for the World Championship with desire to win the title of the absolute world champions, the girls began preparing. But Laura's injury made itself felt. Serious exacerbation began, together with the doctor, Shan's event and examination, and after that the head coach of the national team decided to withdraw the team from the world championship as complication became very dangerous for health. I can assume that the problem started due to the long flight where the cervical vertebrae are clearly in a wild tension and perhaps this is why deterioration began only in Japan. The girls were going to perform and were preparing but at the general meeting the coach said that she was withdrawing the team. I am sure that it's a difficult moment uh, for the whole team and at such moments it is always difficult to to choose health. Given that the, the team is here and in fact of the work of not only one person is taken into account. As Laura wrote on her Facebook, perhaps this was a price of the Olympic gold. Already in Japan, several more gymnasts from the Bulgarian national team announced their retirement. This world championship was supposed to be their last and in fact it was, but they just didn't perform. Forever in the heart and I wish a speedy recovery to Laura. Well, now we can talk about the reality that took place on the carpet in Japan and a about the gymnasts who were able to fight for the title of the absolute world champions. Today, the group teams performed with two apparatus and competed for the group all-round medal. There were a huge number of protests. I understood that yesterday Russia opened the Pandora's box and today it started. By the way, I didn't see any protests from Russia today. Either I missed them or they really didn't submit it. Most of the protests were rejected, but some were satisfied, but none of them affected the places on the podium. So the gold of the world championship was won by our gymnast, the Russia national team consisting of Anastasia Bliznyuk, Polina Orlova, Angelina Shkatova, Alas Tishenka and Maria Tulkachova. In the hoops and clubs, girls made mistakes, there was a loss and other small errors. However, the gymnast gained difficulty and in this form became the first. For, however, on the broadcast, because of the turntable on which the gymnasts were getting out, there was a slight tension and it seemed that the girls could lose. In a kiss and cry, everyone was as serious as possible. The second apparatus girl did very well without visible mistakes and got an incredibly high score and won the gold of the world championship. For the screens, I'm sure that the whole country rejoiced with them with indescribable emotion and great pride for the gymnasts. Great girls! And now a little more about pleasant things. The girls had incredibly beautiful leotards for hoops and clubs. We haven't seen them yet. My favorite black ones were for five balls. So today the Russian national team just pleased my eyes not only with the performances, but also with leotards. By the way, write in the comments which one of the leotards of Russian national team do you like, black or white? The silver medals in the group all round were won by the Italian team. They were one of the main favorites and actually they proved it. In five balls we 
we saw le leotards that were forbidden to use in the Olympic Games. Since, according to the rules of the Olympic Games, there can be no inscriptions on the costumes, but there is no such rule in the World Championships. So the leotards with the Japanese or maybe Chinese hieroglyphs are not very strong in this. We saw here. So the leotards say butterflies dream. In Italy, the national team is called butterflies. Hence, this is a really nice message. The Italian team filled protests against their scores, but all of them were rejected. After the first protest, they lost the Japanese team and apparently tried to ensure. Given that they performed on the first stream and still strong teams were in the second. But in the end, everything ended well for them and without satisfying the protest. But FIG took money for feeling the protest. Belarusian gymnasts won bronze medals. And despite the fact that the girls didn't pass their programs perfectly, a loss was made and because of this the element that followed suffered but in general they did most of the performances confidently in both apparatus and were able to score points for two exercises that allowed them to rise to the podium the first place was taken by the japanese team since gymnasts started performing with five balls gymnasts usually score much higher japanese gymnasts took a leading position after the first apparatus the team didn't get everything at the olympics and there was an opportunity to recoup and sure they maximum but unfortunately there were errors in the second apparatus and this immediately affected the scores and the girls didn't get enough points to get to the podium there is only a chance to fight for medals in the finals of individual apparatus by the way i'm especially sorry that the japanese team is no longer coached by Inna Bistrova. i think they perform much confidently with her the fifths were the gymnast of china and today they surprised from the first second firstly incredible leotards in both apparatus they have pre-passed both apparatus very powerful. I especially like the hoops and clubs stylishly and currently the ending and the beginning fell into my heart. Since we don't see China the European Championships, we are not generally spoiled by their performances. But I must say China's team is very cool and I think they will still compete for medals in the finals. At least there is a chance. The Azerbaijani team became the sixth. The gymnast in both apparatus filled a protest and in both cases Cases, it was rejected. Here we have already loved, at least for me, simple black leotards. The seventh place was taken by the German team. The gymnast passed to a as well. There were not entirely clearer moments, but in any case, the gymnast rose high in the ranking. The eighth place was taken by the team of Ukraine, which is still a young composition and it wasn't possible to pass the pose exercise cleanly. But although the girls didn't start badly from the first apparatus, but the second apparatus was failed. The Brazilian team is located behind them and I love this girl's medley for the sincere emotions. At every start there is a simply an incredible joy and no matter what happens, it's very nice to look at this. Well, the top 10 leaders were closed by the US team. The national team also updated its composition after the Olympics. So in general, I think the result is not bad and maybe in a year they will rise even higher, although there will be already new rules and it's generally unknown who and where will be. Well, a small top from the best from the end today included only one team, since all teams except India have a small gap, but India has a gap of more than 58 points from the first place. But the girls in any case perform at the World Championship and are even remembered at least for their selection of leotards. I think their costumes today attracted the attention of all fans and clearly surprised everyone. Write in the comments how do you like such leotards? or you think it's too much or vice versa it's cool. Well, with this scenario it's over. The question arises from yesterday's slot statements and sister Everins and Irina Alexandrovna Wiener about the fact that our people were sued. It turns out that today they were sued, that's the truth towards Russia. To be honest, I generally want these phrases to go out of the circulation, like help, sued and so on. Let the judges decide, they study for this job, they get licenses. Sit at the tables for all day without the lunch and without the opportunity to stretch their legs and as for me there should be a simple respect for people who evaluate you if you don't like it you can file a protest but without swearing and insulting someone after all the most unpleasant thing is that we see here that ordinary viewers and young children begin 
to think that since the head coach of the Russian national team swears, since the best gymnast in the world swears at judges, then I can. As for me, this is not the right example for the younger generation. Well, they will learn to accept defeat with dignity even if you disagree with them and think that you have been sued is also a great skill. In the team all round where the individual and group scores were formed, the Russian national team also won gold medals. Here, of course, I'm insanely glad the gymnasts are awarded together with their coach. The gymnast of Italy won silver and the Belarusian team won bronze medals. Unfortunately, the Ukrainian team couldn't climb the podium given the low scores of Anastasia Salas for the hoop of 14 points. But the truth is that this scores cost the Belarusian team silver medal. Well, tomorrow we are waiting for the most important Olympic medal of the absolute championship among the athletes. The fight will be intense, at least for silver and bronze. All the detailed information is traditionally available in my Telegram channel. But for today, that's it. And everyone remember that I love you all very much and bye-bye.